Okay, so I got this Hutzpan FPV quad that really is pretty cool. It was fairly inexpensive for what you get. Um, it's a first person view that uh, shows up on this monitor here and uh, it has a camera built into it and a transmitter built into it. So you turn on the transmitter, plug in the quad. Hey dad. <clears throat> Everything turns on and it's supposed to display uh, what the camera sees on the screen right there. Actually, it worked great for about uh, uh, probably eh, probably four or five flights. And so I've flown it quite a few times. It's uh, displaying the uh, voltage. So it is getting some telemetry back from the quad, but it's not getting any image. I bought this. Um, it's the camera that goes into the quad. There's the barcode if you'd like to scan it with your phone. So I paid 60 bucks for this. Or you can get the entire quad for about 20 bucks more. You can get the entire quad. But I like to tinker with things and uh, so I bought the camera and the board and the transmitter. In the meantime, I've got a full battery pack, so I'm gonna go fly this uh, thing around until it's dead. It's a little bit windy out here, but this thing does very well. I mean, it just, it's so responsive, especially when you put it in the sport mode. It just has so much power and zip for its size. They really packed a lot of, uh, you know, pretty good electronics into this package. I, it's, it really is a lot of fun to fly. And it was a lot more fun, or well, I think it will be a lot more fun flying it FPV. But right now, I have no, you know, I have no FPV on the screen. It's just uh, line of sight is all I get. Well, that's enough of that. I want to try, I'm about ready to uh, go in and try and swap out that board. Hopefully this isn't my last flight and I don't destroy the quad. Okay, so here's the new video board, which offhand I'm thinking was um, probably a bad financial decision because the uh, entire quadcopter with the camera and video board and an extra battery, new motors, everything completely assembled is only $20 more than what this board cost. So um, if you don't like to tinker, or if you're not just out to have some fun playing around with your soldering iron, this was probably a bad choice. But I like to have a little fun and learn how things are made. Because every time that uh, something breaks and I have to fix it, I always have a greater appreciation for it um, having fixed it because I think because I understand how it works and understand what it takes for it to work.
it appears to be the same board um, with exception to a few things one of them is the uh, uh, the camera is soldered all the way across to the replacement $60 board the new board has the camera by itself is replaceable I'm gonna pull off the camera so here's the camera by itself so that's apparently an upgrade to the new board and also the antenna uh, has a plug instead of a sloppily soldered connection and uh, I think I'll I'll probably take a, a closer picture of that before I put it in the board just so that uh, you can see how poorly this uh, the replacement board for $60 uh, is constructed compared to the original board that came with the quad uh, which you can get the entire quad for another 20 bucks so um, here goes I'm gonna uh, swap out the boards and see if the camera works And it looks like it's uh, basically perfect. So let's power it up and see if it works. I gotta take off this protective film. And it worked. I look like a complete dork with my headlight on, but very happy to see that the uh, display is working again. That's awesome. Okay, I'm gonna go give this a try. Oh, look at that. I got a screen again. Okay, I'm gonna try and fly FPV. Oh, hitting the hitting some sticks here. All right, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna re or recalibrate the um, accelerometer, and the way that you do that is well, you gotta have the transmitter on, and I think you do it from a complete restart. So, plug in the quad, do full right rudder, toggle the, uh, I guess it would be uh, right and left multiple times, and that recalibrates the accelerometer. I'm getting a live video feed, so here we go. Looks good so far.